Corona Cartel, the leading living sire of stakes winners presents the fifth fastest on day two, Fatal Policy. Before the trials, Fatal Policy might not have made the short list of potential qualifiers, but that's why you enter and run. Running, breaking inward was who's up, bumped into Skews Please, and Skews Please bumped into final separation, but Wagon Tails got away fast. Wagon Tails, then Fatal Policy. And then to the inside of that is who's up down at the rail is Mr. Secret Cartel, followed up by DM1 Hot Charmer, and it is Wagon Tails in front. Skews Please got into second. Wagon Tails, Skews Please, and then Fatal Policy and DM1 Hot Charmer. Fatal Policy finished third for Ricky Ramirez, but hung on for the final qualifying spot. He got lucky, he drew a good race in there with some fast horses. He just drew his in the right part of the day. He's a good bred horse, he does nothing wrong, he's sound, and he ran his race. The recently gelded son of first down dash out of the Corona Cartel mare CC policy is owned and bred by Bill Price. He's a new client, but a familiar name to the wood stable. We've bought lots of Bill Price horses. This is the first year I've ever trained for Bill Price, or we've ever trained for Bill Price. He was really excited. He, he wasn't here, but I called him and he said, are you sure we made it? I said, I'm positive we made it. So it, it's good to train for a guy like Bill Price. But a Bill Price bred with no BP in the name? What's up with that? 